I'm Leanna Lowenstein, Child and Family Therapist in Toronto, Canada. And today I'm going to demonstrate an activity called Feelings Go Fish. And I have my seven-year-old daughter, Jamie, here, who's going to help me demonstrate this activity. So for this activity, you need a standard uh, playing deck of cards. And you also need some feeling faces. And as well, um, you need treats. Um, and because it's feelings go fish, I like to use uh, fish stickers, or you can use fish candy or fish crackers. And so um, you need feeling faces uh, that you can either create your own, or you can copy from uh, this book, More Creative Interventions for Troubled Children and Youth. And if you didn't use the ones from the book, you want to make four copies of the feeling face sheet. You then cut up the feeling faces and you glue them onto the cards. So for example, we have Angry Ace, Terrible Two, Thankful Three, etc. And you cut up the, uh, the feeling face and you glue it onto the appropriate card. So for example, you would cut out four Angry Ace faces and glue them onto the four aces in the deck of cards. I am going to explain the activity first and then we'll play it. So it's played like Go Fish, but with a little bit of a different instruction. So here's the instructions for the game. The dealer deals seven cards to each player. The remaining cards are placed face down to form a stack. One player goes first and asks for a particular card. So for example, if it's my turn, I might say, do you have any angry aces? The player who asks must already hold at least one card of the requested suit. So I must hold at least one ace to say this. If the player who was asked has cards of the requested suit, so if you have any aces, for example, then that player must hand, out, hand over all of his aces to the player who asked for them. The asker then gets another turn and may again ask any player for any suit already in his or her hand. If the person asked does not have any cards of the requested suit, they say, Go fish. Go fish. The asker must then draw the top card from the deck of cards. If the drawn card is the suit asked for, the asker shows it and gets another turn. If the drawn card is not the suit asked for, the asker keeps it and the turn now passes to the player who said, Go fish. Then once you, so let's say I were to ask for an angry ace and you were to have one, you gave it to me, I would then have a pair and I would get a point for that pair. But in order to get a point for that pair, I have to tell a time that I felt that particular feeling. And if you get a queen or a king. If you get a queen or a king, then you get a treat. Treat. That's right. Or you get a, 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 treat, a, a treat candy or a fish sticker. The, um, so, the game continues until either someone has no cards left in their hand or, or the stack out. runs out. The winner is the player who has the most matches. Okay, are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay. So, first we're going to deal seven cards to each player. One, two, three, seven. And do you want what you think for three? I don't. Go fish! Do you have any excited eights? Oh, you do. I felt excited <laughs> when you and I went on a roller coaster for the first time together. That was really fun. Your turn. Do you have any queens? Queen treats. Yes, I do. <laughs> you get a treat. So do you want a fish candy or a fish sticker? Fish candy. Oh, I had a feeling you were going to ask for a candy. <laughs> Jamie, do you have any thankful threes? I felt thankful on the day that you were born that I had such a wonderful baby girl and it was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Do you have any write-in fives? I do. So can you tell about a time when you were frightened?
frightened? I was frightened when, when I was working at school. Yeah. And somebody tapped me on my shoulder and it scared me a lot. <laughs> and I didn't know who it was. <laughs> that made you frightened? It gave you a scare? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a good demonstration of the game. And we play until all the cards are finished. At the end of the game, it's a nice idea to give each of the players a little treat so they can choose from a fish candy or a fish stick. If I was playing this game with a younger child, then it would be a good idea to, before playing the game, uh, to explain all the different feelings in the game. So you want to go through each of the feeling cards and provide a definition for each of the feelings um, with some examples that the child would understand. I welcome your thoughts on this activity, as well as your own creative ideas for helping children to talk about their feelings. So please feel free to post your ideas on this YouTube channel. Thank you. Say bye. Bye.